Karen Black is an actress who's seen it all. I'm still trying to get my lipstick on. <laughs> Over the past 50 years, she's appeared in more than 150 films and television shows and has been directed by Alfred Hitchcock, Francis Ford Coppola, and Robert Altman. She's also been nominated for an Oscar and a Grammy, and she's won two Golden Globes. But the film that made her a star was a small, independent production that paid her only a few hundred dollars. It was called Easy Rider. I mean, is this really your hair? No, hey, really, what is this? Is this really your hair? Are you kidding me? It was really insane. I mean, I didn't tell anyone I'd made that film for about a year and a half. I was ashamed of it. Um, I thought it was, these people were, were crazy. I mean, uh, not that I didn't like them. You know, Dennis is really lovable, very gentle. And Dennis had an amazing intention when he made that movie. Just pure intention that the communication be delivered about the life that he wanted people to understand was going on in our country. You know, I mean, you can have, you can make a movie, or you can like a subject, um, you can want to communicate about something, but it was beyond that. It was like he could have walked through walls to get this communication across. For me, the success of that movie and the way that it's an historic movie at this point is because of Dennis's raw, enormous intention to communicate this aspect of American life. I mean, it was genius. It was just real genius. I want you to be beautiful. I always want, want you to be, be beautiful. beautiful. No, I'm sh- in my listen mind. to me. Listen to me. I want you to be beautiful. I want you to be beautiful. The surprise success of Easy Rider led to a supporting role in Five Easy Pieces with Jack Nicholson and an Oscar nomination. Cut it out. Son of a bitch, Bobby. You quit pushing me away like that. I've had enough of that to last me an entire lifetime. At that point, Karen Black was one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood. She landed roles in a number of features, including Alfred Hitchcock's last film, Family Plot. I bet that thing isn't even loaded. I went to see him in his dressing room once. I thought he was mad at me or something. He said, no, I'm just ill. I don't feel well. And somehow or other, we got to a moment where he said, I don't have a belly button. Oh, I said, I think you do. I had an operation, he said, and when they, when they stitched me up, they stitched away my belly button. He went like this, and he showed me his belly buttonless belly. And that's how he was, very, very warm. Oh, and he liked me and Barbara, and then he'd want to go to that restaurant that everybody went to. At the same time, he was um, acutely shrewd uh, and demanding in terms of what he wanted to have on screen. Your friend Blanche Tyler is a spiritualist. A spiritualist? That's what it says on her shingle. Many people make storyboards when they're about to make a movie. It's something that many people do. Then they get done with their film and everything changes. They can't possibly use the storyboard because this actor didn't do this and this, this shot was, was over here and not over here and the train went through and you couldn't do this and da 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 can't possibly use a storyboard, but he used the storyboard. Now, try to imagine what that means about his imagination and Ernie Lehman's imagination. Both of them wrote this family plot. Imagine that they could so visualize what exactly was wanted on screen that they could draw pictures and then just edit the movie to the pictures and have a great picture. Can you imagine? I mean, it's sort of moving. <laughs> Within a year of working on Hitchcock's meticulous family plot, Black was cast in Robert Altman's freeform classic, Nashville. Don't they, Jim? Oh, they're both She's just got the yeah. worst yeah. sense of humor. No, she's lovely. She oh, has come a on, hey, but she can't even comb her hair. He has a tremendous amount of confidence in the inadvertent. If you throw up, that's great. If you drop the wine glass, that's great. If you forget your line and rub your nose, that, I mean, everything is great. So you feel like you're in the great lap of, you know, the father as big as the room. You know, you can't make a mistake. 
And I think that makes you funny. I think that's then you get very funny because you're very, very comfortable. When we did um, Nashville, he had uh, sound attached to my leg. I was used to it here, but it was my leg. I didn't know where the camera was. I didn't know where the camera was backstage. I didn't, you know, and pretty soon you just don't know anymore that you're in a movie, in a way. You're kind of on your own, you know? And you're improvising, so it's, a, it's an amazing experience. It's an amazing experience, a wonderful experience. He gives you the feeling, Altman, that if you throw up a, a whole lot of flowers, they're going to land in a very good place somehow. And so you just throw them up. And I love to go to heaven, but I forgot how to pray. So just help me keep from sliding down some more. In the mid-70s, Black had a son. She decided to put her family first and became less choosy about her roles. She did everything she could find time for, Hollywood films, independent films, television dramas, and more than a few horror flicks. And she's still working with four features slated for this year. Black could retire, but acting remains clearly a passion. What's his name? Pedro. Pedro, he's darling. I love him. You're wonderful. You don't have to worry what you look like. You don't have to worry if... So, uh, you know, as I do in an, in an interview, like, well, I do worry about this, but then I'm done where I can't think about it anymore. You, what I like in acting is unselfconsciousness, and man, good actors are relentlessly unselfconscious. I think I'm done. 